one you saw in that thumbnail. It's probably the biggest ball python I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, that smells good. Oh, bro. One, one of my best performing videos ever on YouTube was a massive reticulated python taking a dump in the grass. So I wrote a rap song for it. And now we've got the biggest ball python I've ever seen in my life. And we just happened to capture a massive dump. And I mean, I don't know if you guys are into that type of thing, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Today, we are at Mountain Man Constrictors. I'm glad I didn't say exotics because it is constrictors. <laughs> that is made up of Skylar here, Jake, and they adopted Martina over there. I yeah. found them in a parking lot. Two separate parking lots, but parking lots nonetheless. That's true. Okay, my, my bad. She adopted them. I got it backwards. <laughs> but we're going to show you guys a bunch of cool snakes, including the one you saw in that thumbnail. It's probably the biggest ball python I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a whole bunch of snakes in that tub right there. Each one of them exceptionally beautiful and awesome to look at. It's going to be cool. So let's let's get in some of these snakes. You guys want to come back behind the bar too? Or? And this is probably one of my favorite things about this so far is we get to present all these snakes to you at this awesome bar. It's like, <laughs> what are you serving us today, bartender? All the good stuff. Why don't we start with snake number one? This beautiful guy is a super orange dream leopard fire. And what I love about him, of course he's in shed. What I love about him is he looks like, he reminds me of the uh, magpie uh, blood pythons. Yeah, you have to have one snake in shed every single video that we do. It's kind of mm -hmm. our obligatory. One snake needs to be in shed. Yeah, <laughs> that's facts right there. Okay, so this next one, this is Peaches. And he is a super cinnamon pastel lesser spark. And this guy, there's too many things to point out on this guy, but um, uh, Brian kind of mentioned earlier when we were looking at him that he looks like a uh, calretic. And, uh, yeah, like a reverse calretic. Yeah, like a reverse calretic. So I love the uh, orange speckling on him, the white walls on the sides. He's got a really cool little ringer. With some orange on it there you know nowadays we're looking for what is that snake gonna look like as an adult and this guy looked really cool as a baby but he just keeps looking better and better as he grows are you guys gonna be sharing snakes too well i guess you There's definitely want to show your clutch yeah, yeah. oh I, I can sit here and support them They're, these are all theirs now i mean but i can Mar but I, martina you got you I, my understanding is that you got a bit of Local legend status here in Utah. Oh no, I'm, we're I know, not doing I know, that. No, I know you're gonna be. All, I, I know you're gonna be like humble and stuff, which is totally respectable. But there, there's a. Uh, I mean, you are. Come on, come on, give us. Never mind. I'm not gonna make you talk. No, nice I, I mean I can do it. It's People fine. People know me. People know me. Um, I just have been heavily involved in the local reptile community for probably close to the last 15 years, and I've done a lot of work in rescue, um, working with big box pet stores all the way down to keepers and whoever really kind of needs me and I got passed around and people found out about me and I just kind of operate under the scenes helping out with the community making sure everybody has what they need to keep their animals healthy. So this one is a stunner. Um, she is an Anchi Orange Dream Pie but the uh, colors on her are just insane. Oh, yeah. so, oh, and, yeah. and, and again like we talked about you know what is that snake going to look like as it grows Obviously, yes, it has doled out a little bit since it grows, but the oranges are just getting deeper. Something about a snake like this, I mean, you're talking about somebody who's just getting into the hobby, like a snake like this is really going to stand out to them, mm -hmm. people who have not seen a pied yeah. animal before. Absolutely. Yeah, um, so we do a lot of expos, and anytime somebody comes up to the table, it's a pie, it's immediately mm -hmm. they just gravitate towards, mm -hmm. like, wow, I've never seen anything like that. And honestly, like, I think Blue Eyed Lucy's and Pie Bulbs are some of the yeah. things that got me into ball pythons. Lucy and, got me too. Yeah, and it's just like, obviously we're adding other genes to 
uh, height and these looks, but you would never think like a pie ball or like a pure white snake with blue eyes is something that would have ever been found in the wild. You know, I mean, at least pie balls were. When I was in Denver, I if you guys watched the uncut video that Dave and I did, we were actually going to co come to Mountain Man Constrictors first, and Skyler was busy talking to folks, and we we're like, we'll come back. And then we never made it back. So it was like kind of all perfect that now that we've been here in Utah going to Quint's thing this past weekend that we actually got to stop by. We're going to have some barbecue. These guys have been super hospitable. And um, I think it was just funny that it worked out that way. We literally tried to stop at your table first on the uncut video. <laughs> and you guys didn't make it on the uncut video at all. Yeah. But, yeah. but now we're here doing this. So yeah. pretty stoked. I think the power we went out like right when. Yeah, yeah. That, that happened video too. Did. The power went out. Yeah. So that was a thing. <laughs> It was a crazy time. show. It was a good show. It was a good show. That was all fun. Yeah, it, it was, was really fun. fun. Those guys take care of the vendors, all American people. We love them. Yeah. They're good folks. I think yeah. that's hands down our favorite, our favorite our, our, show. Our funnest show that funnest, we've vended yeah. to this day. Wow. Yep. That's big. So, um, up next, we got this girl. So, she is unique. Um, she has some paradoxing. Uh, so, this girl is a super Mojave pastel. She's 50% hat for monsoon. I just think that the uh, paradoxing just makes this girl such an awesome snake to look at. All right, so up next, this beautiful girl is a confusion clown, and she's 50% hat hypo. I just love the wild pattern, the orange on her head, um, along with that head stamp. But my favorite part about the confusion stuff, and especially in the clown, is the belly. That belly is just so wild. And uh, I was super excited to hatch this girl out. Um, I've actually never hatched Confusion in Clown before. And uh, got one of them out of that clutch of eight. And uh, I was super excited about this. That's probably my favorite snake that you produced this year. Yes. For sure. I, I, I love, love the head stamp. It, it kind of actually looks like, like a, a pilgrim with a top hat. <laughs> like who's like got like a little hat and he's got a beard right there. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see him. All right. So I couldn't really just pick one to bring over. So this, they're all in the middle of the shed. This is my favorite clutch that I produced this year. Fresh, brand new babies. Huh? Brand new babies. Um, pairing was a pastel special clown to a leopard special clown. I was shooting for this guy, this gal here, which is a. Super special, super special leopard clown. Really stoked to have her. The colors on that. Are just She's insane. just wild, man. And then we got, I got, we got really good odds. We hit four super special clowns in it. I think everything else did get the pastel. But yeah, really love those. Just the special clowns alone are super beautiful. Really that good quality. Really good. Yeah, that the white coming in on the yeah. belly just is phenomenal. I mean, you, you almost think it was like hit pied or something. Yeah, right. I so love what special so brings to the table. I'm so yeah. excited yeah. about this. Such a simple gene, uh, but with other it things, man, it, like it's just orange. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I guess special was an appropriate name. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> we got some more ringers on this pastel leopard special clown here. Everything in here ended up being special, so I was pretty stoked to see. But mostly this this gal here what the target was it reminds me of like those pearl burmese yeah. pythons yeah it does, doesn't it especially the the pastel special too. yeah Love your it. son was loving this one he was oh my, my boy yes. yeah. he was holding this snake for a while he, uh, he helped, her, helped yeah he, he helped shed. him shed and he was like it was he, really cute he, lo he loves helping animals get out of shed yeah. that? it's okay <laughs> that's what he was saying it's like i've done this a million times like cool dude heck yeah keep going man yeah, Eli got to come out with me on this trip, which was awesome. We still go to Clint's and everything, but I didn't film it at all, so you wouldn't even know. But I was just mentioning that Eli came, daddy, daddy, uh, son trip. It was pretty cool. All right, and uh, up next, this is my favorite one that I made this year. This is an probably urban ever. camo, yeah, probably, probably ever. ever. So uh, this is an urban camo spark. So the urban camo is a super cinnamon uh, pastel uh, sandblast, and then we have spark on top of that, which is adding another level of brightness. This particular animal I've been working on from the ground up, it's taken me about six or seven years to really produce, good. something like that. When I first saw these, they were so expensive that I could not, not even buy anything but the most basic ingredients. Does this Brandon, Brandon Osborne have something to do with the... Yeah, I think he's the original producer. Yeah, because I, I did a video with him in Tinley years back and he was, we were looking at some of these. 
Yep. Yeah, so when I first saw the Urban Camos, I think they were going for like 15 or 20 grand. And the pinnacle gene inside there, really the linchpin gene, is... <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> 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 um, this time, I promise. Get it, get it. <clears throat> Got it? Science. 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 I'll take your tool right here. <laughs> <laughs> so got another one right here. Yeah, I'll just take all these. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the uh, the linchpin gene in this is the uh, sandblast gene, and even just for like a normal sandblast, they were going for a couple grand. I was able to get into that and uh, multi generational breeding. Finally landed on one of these girls uh, this year. Yeah, phenomenal! Congratulations on that, man. Thank it's you. Really nice. So obviously, this is and I, will, I mean it's obvious to me and maybe obvious to other snake enthusiasts, but. I mean, as obvious to people who are not as enthusiastic about snakes as we are, but this, to us enthusiasts, is obviously an albino Burmese python pied. I don't know why I said that in that order, but... <laughs> <laughs> albino pied berm? It's a pied albino berm, berm, berm pino bide. Yeah, so this girl is Queenie, and uh, Queenie was a Christmas gift from my wife Trista, actually. And... Um, she was produced by Bob Clark. I couldn't be more thrilled to have her. She's like, I'm a ball python guy, but I think this is probably my favorite snake in my whole collection. And the Labyrinth Project. So what's, what's going on with those, those snakes over there? Um, well, the top one is a hypo labyrinth berm that we're raising up to breed to my Oh, she's also had albino to my albino labyrinth so that we can get all the rainbow spaghetti colors of labyrinth berms. So give us a couple years and we'll have berms too. When it comes to fruition, though, you'll be the first person we call. All right. Yeah. But uh, this girl's just a puppy dog. We love her. Yeah, she's a dog. She's one that uh, we'll get out and just let my kids hold while they're watching TV on the couch. I know a lot of you watching are like, you want to see the biggest ball python you've ever seen in your life that I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if it's the biggest one you've ever seen in your life. It's definitely the biggest one I've ever seen. Even when we went to my buddy Nick's place years ago, Renowned Reptiles up in Sac, and he had that huge original ball python that he had from childhood. This snake is bigger than that, um, at least as far as I recall. So let's take a look at this big girl. You guys tell us, tell us about her. Uh, she's a bit heavier than the berm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I can hold the back end if you want. We can stretch her out. Yep. That, that works. This is what a so six-foot this... bar? Yeah, yeah, it is a six foot bar. Okay, so. Yep. So this is Aztec, and she is a pewter spark, so a pastel cinnamon spark, and I believe, um, I believe she might be Volta, which is just a uh, small area in Africa where the ball pythons just get massive, um, or. I don't, is it even a subspecies? Oh, it's, it's a locality. It's a locality? I think, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So, um, do I have any proof that she's Volta? No, other than she's six massive. Six grams and six feet Yeah, long. I mean, look at <laughs> just yeah. how big her uh, head is. But uh, this girl I produced in 2020 or 2021. I think it's 2020. <laughs> we produced her in 2019. <laughs> Thank you for the wise correction. My, my better half. I need that. She keeps me in check. But yeah, 20, 2019. That'd make her five. And uh, she dwarfs her. Yeah, so she actually had the biggest ball, py by, uh, ball python clutch that I've ever produced I've never or heard of. Bigger one. Heard of. Yeah. Um, she did 17 eggs last year. And all of them hatched. Uh, we had one that didn't quite make it like a week after but uh the 16 of her of uh its fellows did what do you feed her skylar uh rats <laughs> how many how big are they uh she will eat one large rat a week i feel like we could do a switch her to rabbits right <laughs> and then she could eat every you know few weeks yeah i want to do that to her it's not, not the worst thing you know sometimes pythons they, that they take a while to shrink back down their their all their organs from yeah, digesting sure so Spacing it out might not be the worst idea. Yeah. yeah. Just like when you're not breeding her. Giant snake. Yeah, that's a big old snake, dude. Um, yeah. Yep. Well, and I've worked with other Voltas, and she's bigger. She's bigger. 
She's, I mean, I, the other ones maybe get about as long, but she's a solid 1,000 to 1,500 grams bigger. So. Wow. Yep, and those were actual Volta Black. Yeah. So she's about 6,500 grams. That's big. Yeah. Yep. Well, listen, guys, Jake, Skyler, Martina, I appreciate you guys giving us all a little tour of the animals here, what you got going on at Mountain Man Constrictors. Um, what platforms can people follow you on if they want to check out all the projects you got going forward? Instagram is uh, at MM Constrictors. Everything else is Mountain Man Constrictors. So, yeah, YouTube, TikTok. Well, Facebook. But it's all Instagram to Facebook anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't really we don't really do Facebook yeah. all that much. It's there, though. <laughs> it is there. I was also trying to figure out, like, how you guys came up with the name Mountain Man Constrictors, and I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. You don't need to explain yourselves. But I, just, those two men over there. I don't know what you're talking about. I just... <laughs> Well, actually, when we were kind of uh, um, brainstorming it, my dad built custom houses, and uh, it was called yeah, Mountain Land Constrict or uh, Mountain Land con uh, Contractors, and so it's kind of a, a nod to him. Yeah, that smells good. Oh, bro, it's gold. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying this. <laughs> At least somebody. <laughs> and and so that oh, this, this retake is laying these massive gold bricks, you know, like the, the, the oh urates are like gosh. this gold color, and they're just huge. And it like took her like a while. To, there's some time lapse stuff happening too, but and I wrote a song called "What Is This Crap," 